clearly that was really fucking good. Hey friends, welcome to another exciting Thursday episode here on my channel. And you, again, as you may know, Thursday videos are always something that I want to do or something I want to talk about. But before I do, I wanted to give a special shout out to Hyperlapse, the new app from Instagram. Uh, that was that video there, the whole time lapsing video was created through the all by, oh excuse me, created on my iPhone 5S with using that app. So I was very pleased. I, I can tell it's a little bit cut off, but I'm sorry about that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, this episode, I wanted to talk about something that bothered me a little bit, um, and to think that it still exists today kind of really upsets me a little bit. So for this episode, I wanted to talk about trolls, not like the Lord of the Rings trolls or the mythical things. I'm talking the internet trolls, the really shitty people who think it's okay to really just put a damper on someone's day by leaving a really shitty comment. So if you've been following my Facebook a little bit, um, I may or may not have put up a post on my Facebook um, about something that occurred. Um, I'm not really going to name names or anything, uh, but I'm kind of just going to flat out say that um, uh, there is, uh, every time I meet someone new, I'm someone who definitely likes to make friends with them and likes to talk and hang out. I don't really hang out with a lot of people, so when I meet new people, I like to hang out with them constantly and try to... Um, you know, maybe, you know, get in their psyche and hang out and learn about them. That's who I am, a very hands-on person, as you can probably tell as I'm doing right now. But, um, something weird started happening, and it, it really threw me through a loop, and it kind of just blasted, like, fucking Hiroshima up in my life. Um, so for the last, like, couple, like, month, month and a half or so, um, this particular person um, has been really rude to me lately. Like, he was really nice at first. He was really great. Like, he's actually, like, to this day, he's a really great guy and stuff like that. Um, however, I've noticed lately that to me um, and to a, a couple other people, um, he's just a complete asshole. I don't know what his deal is. Like, I, like again, I'm nice. Um, I said it in my Facebook post that usually I like to get to know someone before I judge them. Um, and I, not only do I get, did I get to see the good side, like he's really great, he's a really awesome guy to hang out with, um, even though we've technically only hung out maybe like 10, 15 minutes at most, and it's usually backstage, um, but, um, I've started to notice that he's just, he's, he's given me, um, a shady attitude, he's been, he's been like saying really horrible shit. But, like, I don't get it, and it's funny because it's always around certain other people that he's, like, friends with. Like, obviously, we're not, like, the greatest of friends, but obviously, like, we're acquaintances and, um, and stuff like that. Um, so it just kind of hurt me to see that that was the attitude I was getting. Um, so I just wanted to kind of throw out from there, like, why is it okay to start off being nice and then go off to being a complete asshole from there. It just didn't, it just doesn't make sense to me because obviously like, I, I've never done anything wrong to this guy. Thought I'd let you know that. I've never been rude to this guy. Um, yet I'm getting treated like shit, um, which is fantastic. Um, and I think it's funny and I think it's funny, um, because some people, there's one who made a comment and he's like, yeah, like only da na na na. And I was like, okay, yeah, awesome, like you're following into someone's footsteps and being another douchebag, great. Um, I just don't understand why people think it's okay to put me down and use it as a joke to put me down. It really bothers me because it's like, I'm still a human. It's not like, you know, I'm sitting behind a YouTube screen and you never meet me. Like, everybody that I work with and everyone that I hang out with, like Disney and outside Disney and stuff like that, do really get to see a side of me that is very different. Um, I do definitely enjoy myself. I definitely like having fun, but it kind of hurts me when people, granted, people we, people that have maybe gotten to like say hi to me and maybe hang out here and there among other friends, um, don't get. It's just it bothers me that I that they think they can push me over because I'm certainly not someone that will push over. And I made a comment saying, why is it okay for someone to really um, 
bash someone on the computer and not say it to their face. Like I understand some people, like a lot of these trolls, don't really live near each other. So they, they're like, oh, I feel safe and everything. When really it's just like you're, it's, it's safety and distance, I like to, I, I'm going to call it. Because I just think because, oh, this person lives in Los Angeles, this person lives in New York, Florida, all these other places that they can't get to me, that I'm far away from them, they won't be able to find out. But this guy is like right near me, like he, we work together almost. So I think it's funny that it just like, why, if he doesn't like me, I'd rather he, these, like people would tell me in person and to my face, because I can respect them before I tell them off, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm someone, who, obviously, you gotta give me something, some fuel, feel that flame, that gay flame that is me, um, to be able to like say something like that. And the other thing that just really bothers me about trolls is I don't get why people think it's okay to put forth the, put forth the effort just to tell someone that they're stupid, they're ugly, they should kill themselves, they shouldn't exist on the planet, and stuff like that. Like, is that, why is that a main goal? I could never understand why trolls are being such assholes to people. Like, I mean, because of internet trolls and for people who have actually created, who have took the time to make fake Facebook profiles to then go and like mock some outcast girl to the point where she commits suicide and it's your fault like go suck one like it can it just never i can never understand it like amanda todd like that was completely shameful that one woman who like who i guess like her, her boyfriend or like this girl hurt her son's feelings so she created a fake profile and then started calling her straight up ugly I'm like, that is just disgusting. You are like the epitome of internet trolls. And for that, it bothers me. And I just understand, why can't people really fucking get along? Like, obviously, if you don't like someone's content or things that they're doing, then don't pay attention to it. Focus on the things that you like. Like, obviously, if you guys are watching this, clearly you like it and you want to be able to watch it and be able to see what I am I have to say or do. But... If you like it, like, th like, thank you, by the way, for liking the stuff that I'm putting up. Yay, I like that. But what bothers me the most is I can never understand why people think it's okay to just tell someone, especially like Rebe Rebecca Black. Like, I give that girl credit. At first, I hated Friday. I was like, she just needs to jump off the planet. Um, and then she came back a couple of years later with Saturday and loved it. If you haven't heard Saturday, I'm going to include a link in the description below and somewhere in this video here to click it because it is actually a really great song. I endorse it. I'm, I'm for it. Um, but she took quite a beating. I mean, no one liked that song whatsoever. But then again, obviously, like, she, she was just a vehicle or not or she was just pretty much targeted when really it was the guys who made the song because they were horrible art music factory can go suck one but i mean it just it doesn't make sense to me why everyone thinks it's, it's now okay to personally hurt people's feelings i know in this world that we live in we should be able to have a tough skin and be able to go think go through things but on top of that, I just don't understand why it's okay for anybody to think it's cool to say your videos suck, you need to go die, or shoot yourself in the head. Like, that's fucked up. Like, I can never understand that. Um, like, I understand, like, uh, like back in high school when I was dancing, some people were putting up, video, or putting up videos of my dance performances through the assemblies and stuff, and people then were even like, you were the only guy, you shouldn't be in there. And I was like, um, yeah, I actually deserved my spot. I auditioned for it. I worked hard for it. So for the fact that you didn't, you don't know what it took for me to get there, and for you to comment like that, that's all I have to say for you. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, and that's the other thing about me too. And I'll kind of, and I love. I, I know this is gonna be a long video. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna try to edit this as much as I can. But with with all these trolls, it pisses me off because I can ne I can't understand why someone just just hates that way. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, 
So if you guys can just tell me why trolling is something to begin with, interesting at all, please leave it in the comments. I would like to know. Um, yeah, I just it just bothers me to no end because I just can never, I will never, I think I don't think I will ever fully understand trolls. I really won't. Um, it just doesn't make it just I I won't know what's going on in their head. Maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe they just really don't like people's content. But even then, I think it's still bullshit that they think it's okay to comment. You need to go die on someone's comments. Ew, nasty. Whatever. Um, okay, so that was rant. Uh, end of rant. Um, thank you guys for watching. Leave in the comments down below what you think about trolls and. Um, if you think trolls should go die off, because I would, I'm for that. I endorse that one. Um, click like if you like In and Out. Clearly, if you like the hyper lapse one, you'll probably like. You probably like In and Out. If you don't live on the West Coast, you are missing what I like to refer to as heaven, aka in a greasy, greasy, greasy bun, because it's absolutely amazing. Um, also, don't again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm releasing out more videos. Uh, Mondays are once again Disney Double Day. So I'm very excited for that. Um, and I just got a GoPro. So if you didn't see the bonus video, I'm going to include this right over here. Click that. And uh, check out all my, uh, my social media, which are all in the links down below. Um, and thank you guys so much. So remember, my name is Forrest. And remember, Pink Cake. <laughs>